I'm literally rushing right now trying to get ready because this freaking car dealership closes soon and my mom just got off work. I've literally been trying to buy a car since I was 16. 16 years old. Like, is my camera dirty? Hold on. I hope they made it a little better, but probably not. Okay, yeah. So I've been trying to buy a car since I was 16, three years ago. And the stars just never aligned for me. Like, I had the money for it and everything, but it was just like my home life and like, the situation I was in or whatever, like, I don't know. It just, people were in my area telling me, like, it won't be the best thing to do right now. And I had nobody really trying to help me. And I really didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So I wound up spending my money on other things. Like, I don't know. Like, when I was 17, I had ran into a lot of money. And I think it was 17, 18-ish age, like, last year. No, no, no. Two years ago, I meant. I don't know, like, we went to Atlanta, and I just was, like, spending my money on, like, food and going out, like, dumb stuff. Like, my money disappeared from underneath me, and I could have bought a car. Like, not saying you shouldn't enjoy life, but, like, what did that trip do for me? Nothing. So, now that I'm a little more, like, I don't want to say mature, but mature, I'm going to go ahead and get my car. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this kind of like a big decision, not really, but it's a big decision to me. Like some people like, girl, I had my car since I was 16, but to me, it's a big deal because I don't wanna say I ain't had nobody helping me, but I didn't have nobody helping me. Like I don't need a car. Like I have people who I can rely on for rides and for other shit, but it's just like, I don't know. I want to start being more independent and I don't want to ask my mom for shit. Like, she could buy me a car right now, but I don't want to ask her to because, I don't know, I just feel like it's different when you could do it for yourself. For real, for real. Like, it really is. I'm trying to slap this makeup on, so when she come through the door, I'm like, grab my stuff and let's go. But yeah, it's just me and my mom going to the dealership. I will get it from a private owner, but let me tell you, these <laughs> In Detroit, they do not answer their messenger. Like, my boyfriend got his car from Facebook Marketplace. So did some of my cousins. And they have some really nice cars on there. But it's just like, I don't want to have to go through all that. It was just me and my mom. I know they always say bring a guy with you. But I feel like that's if you're like a dumbass. I don't know. I'm not going to get no car and not have a mechanic look at it. or You know what I'm saying? So, I'll be straight. But yeah. This is a little intro. Today's video is kind of like, mm, I don't know. This video is serving as a blog, but kind of like informational. Like if you're ready to got, buy your own car and you really don't got nobody helping you, I want to do like a, not Q&A, but just like things you need to know before you buy a car by yourself, like as a young person, because this is like a Dalton move for me. I just feel like I'm really progressing in life y'all what happened here. call me back in about an hour we're at the dealership what happened so we got the place why does i have a spare tire and it's kind of check the radio i don't even know how to turn this air off oh it worked it works good it was cold too it's good okay and then Make sure to go right there and see if that's turning off Is it? Yeah, okay, I turned it off. But yeah. Normally we don't, we don't. Okay, so he's gonna let me test drive. He's gonna let me test drive. Normally they don't because I only have my permit and not my license, but I'm gonna just go ahead because he said I could go, so I'm gonna go. All right, y'all, so. We just yeah. test drove the car. Listen to me. <laughs> you gotta start paying attention. They're going back and forth and it's kind of annoying me. And my dad's on the ground. <laughs> Looking at the car. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> it's um two days after I filmed the first half of this video because I had to work out some stuff. With my car insurance, I finally got everything handled. 
um the first day i put a deposit down on the car and so today i'm gonna go pick it up show my proof of insurance and pay the rest of it off and now i can drive my car off the lot i have to have my dad and sister come with me because i still have a permit and i can't drive by myself but yeah so um it was kind of a hassle getting my car insurance because like I don't know it was just we had to keep on getting quotes from different places and my camera's shaky yeah but um i wound up getting my own insurance plan instead of being like under my mother's because it's cheaper with my school address compared to just using her address and i don't know the technicalities of it but i had to get that settled it was kind of expensive but i expected that because i'm young so whatever so yeah the first footage I filmed was, like, really trash. Like, I never panned around the car or showed too much because I was really excited. And I didn't film that much. I'm going to show more of it today, especially after I dropped it off the lot because I'm, I'm going to try to have my phone all over the people face anyway. So, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm in the car now and everybody went in the house. But, like I said, I didn't want to have my camera all up in their face. And, damn, this sun is, like, really beating my ass. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the car now and try attempt, if I could catch the sunlight cloud coming, but I'm gonna attempt to take pictures today and I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the car. So let's not lock the fucking key in the car. Who my acne girl? I think I'm a, yeah. So just off rip, this is what she looked like. I think I showed y'all a little bit of how she looked already. So this is a Chevy Cruze. It's a 2011. So yeah, that's cool. And um, okay, I'm gonna put in the description. Um, it's an LT, like, but the exact name, cause you know how I be like LT sedan, SDZ, boom, 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 like all up in the title. So I'm gonna get the exact like car name and stuff, y'all. Yeah. But yeah, this is my car. It's really dirty because it was used. I'm going to show you. It's dirty as heck. Look, I'm gonna put all my stuff up there. Just all the stuff I got to put in my glove box. But look at how dirty these freaking seats are. I'm going to get some seat covers and... Ooh! Disgusting! But yeah, this is all going to be fixed soon. And it's going to be... I'm going to get solid black because why would i get any other color <laughs> so yes i think i'm gonna put like a pillow back here because i always be falling asleep in the back of people's cars so and then other than that it's pretty like standard i don't know what else to say it just needs a little cleaning i might get a detail who knows but yeah i really love this center console compared to like oh it got cut off, but like I was saying, it has a pretty nice center console and stuff. You know, it has a, um, it doesn't have a push start. We have keys around here. So <laughs> let's see the trunk. Oh yeah, and this is just, you just pop it. So I know a lot of people like, they always have to like pop it like near the seat. And they forget, so yeah. This creepy car is like, I'm trying to figure out how to do that. It's a creepy car parked on the street, like, watching me low-key, so I'm about to go to the house. But, yeah, with a focus, pretty deep trunk. He and me back and forth to school, so, yeah. But this is just my car, y'all. So, I'm going to lock it up, go in the house so I don't get kidnapped. Um, it's pretty good. I'm going to end the video here. I went to pick up winter. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I'ma um, be posting more follow-up videos about the car, and yeah, that was pretty much it, so.